Okay, everybody. Um, I have this flamingo that I have fashioned out of chicken wire. And this is going to be my first time using this. I'd never heard of it before, but I got it at the thrift store for $3.99. And it's called Rigid Wrap. And you use it like uh, paper mache, except it's already infused with like plaster. So it's like a cloth and you take it and you cut it into strips and you put it in a bowl of water and wet it and then you wrap your item. So I had gotten two packages of it and over the weekend I went to see my grandbabies and me and my granddaughter practiced with making her a face mask which she has decorated up and so it was really simple. So I came home I love flamingos and I want to make something large to make a statement right here on my island where I'm always working. So I just quickly fashioned this out of chicken wire and I don't know how well it's going to work with these little, you know, they have little skinny legs, but I think I can build it up uh, with the with the rigid wrap and make it stand firm so it will stand up tall here. But as with most of my projects, I'm making them for the first time. Like I get an idea and I want to try to make it just because I just want to make something to see if I can. So I usually videotape that process in case anyone else is wanting to learn that same thing. And if I make mistakes, then you'll learn from my mistakes as I will for the next time. So that's what we're going to be working with today. I'm going to unwrap this and show it to you and cut it in some strips and then we're going to get started. My, my hope is to, if it comes out cute, I'm going to paint it and then maybe seal it and it's going to sit here on my island. But I'm thinking that you could, it's plaster now, so it's going to ruin in the rain. But I'm thinking you could make yard art with it if you sealed it after it's completely dried, painted, everything. If you sealed it with the um, the triple seal Rust-Oleum that I always use. But uh, you'll have to look into that. I, I originally thought about putting this in my yard, but I really want it on my island if it comes out cute, comes out ugly. I might put it in my garden and hide it behind something or just throw it away. But it's just going to be the fun of trying it. So here we go. I'm just going to cut a pile of strips at the beginning so I don't have to get wet hands to cut it. And then I'm just going to show you about a minute of how I wrap it. You just wet each piece one at a time because if you leave them in the water they get hard. And then overlap the ends and kind of rub them in a little bit to make them stick to your item. And remember, I'm just using the chicken wire, but you could use a bowl with saran wrap over it for your, your mold or a balloon. Um, you know, get creative. I'm going to leave my chicken wire inside, so if you're not going to leave it in something inside, you'd probably want to put plastic wrap first. Okay, so I've got almost a full leg and foot covered. Now this is the first layer. Uh, the instructions say to, to put up to six layers. So we'll see how it goes. But what you need to know is that there are, you see the little holes in there? You're supposed to wipe it while it's wet to um, fill those holes in. But after having done the mask with my granddaughter, I'm not going to worry too much about it on the first layer. I'm just trying to get it wrapped. And then as I do subsequent layers, I'll worry about it. 
but it, it also doesn't take very long to dry. So I'm going to let this dry and then finish it all the way up, go to the next leg. Oops. Um, because I'm trying to keep my legs separated, so I'm going to do them one at a time, then work my way up to the body, then to the neck, which I'm also going to try to prop up so it won't be this kind of... But anyway, I'm going to work on that as I get to it. And then I'm going to build up the layers. Okay, I wanted to show you something really quick. I'm making a little progress on my flamingo. I just, one thing I wanted to show, I propped it on here so that it will hold it in the position I want while I work on it. Now you see the legs, how they have this squarish because I wanted them thin and that's the um, chicken wire. So as I'm wrapping the next layer to make it a little fuller like this, I've got a pile of cut up cotton balls and I'm just putting it there and then wrapping my next wrap around it. I'm filling in each hole wetting my strips and wrapping them around as I keep doing this they'll it'll become uh, smoother but I kind of like it even like this I just don't like it like this so that's just a tip okay here is my super long neck flamingo <laughs> but I think when it gets completed it's uh, gonna work out fine I have a dress that I no longer wear that I'm going to use to cover and I'm going to leave it a little longer down here for the tail so I think that'll even out from the long neck but anyhow this is how mine came out and while I was doing this I started thinking I bet you could use just strips of cloth like maybe um, sheets pillowcases something like that cut them up and dip them into um, what's it called you know the plaster mix I can't think of it but so I'm gonna try that uh, I'm gonna try to take a just a piece of the chicken wire and make a little simple snowman and try it with the strips and the plaster mix you know just dip them in the plaster of course it dries quickly so you'd have to make up multiple batches I'm assuming but I'm gonna try that and see how it works out and I'll post that video so y'all can see too. So that's it for today. That's the um, rigid wrap flamingo. And yeah, the neck should have been a lot shorter, but I couldn't tell when it was chicken wire. So see you on the next one. I hope y'all have voted on the um, video about should I put up Christmas crafts right now because I've got one, two, one, two, nine million video ideas. I've already got a couple made. The videos are already done. I'm just going to schedule them for maybe end of October unless I get a lot of upvotes for them to come, go up now. So don't forget to subscribe. Please like or comment on the video because that helps my channel. I'm trying, I have enough subscribers, but I'm trying to get my watch hours to get monetized. Still need a couple hundred watch hours. But when you like or comment, it moves the video up so that more people see it. So if you could do that, it would really help me out. 